You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome to another episode, another broadcast of Friday Night Joy. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. We're broadcasting live on When Christmas Speak Talk Radio. Amen. So I want to welcome you in um, the list of the broadcast today. Amen. We could do something just a little bit different. I guess it's not different. We've done it before. Amen. But um, I, I want to thank those that are listening all across the, the United States, all across the world. Thank you for listening to different countries. Amen. God bless you. I pray that this broadcast today be a blessing to you. Amen. I want to thank those that listen, of course, always through Blog Talk Radio, Our Heart Radio, uh, Spreaker.com, and some of the other iTunes and some of the other different media, amen, that, is a, that um, platforms that we broadcast from, through, rather, amen. So let's go ahead and get started. Our topic today is a love relationship, love relationship with Christ. And this was done actually by Reverend Gwen Dixon, amen. She's been doing a series for the last couple of weeks, a love relationship with Christ. And you can find out more about um, uh, Reverend Gwen Dixon and uh, the topic Go to Midgroup Prayer uh, for, on Spreaker, amen, or on iTunes, amen. She's been doing a whole series. She got a lot of uh, broadcasts underneath her belt so far, amen. But this is a series called A Love Relationship with Christ, amen. Also, she broadcasts, she does a, a what it is, is the Midday, Midday Glory Prayer. It's a prayer that she does for about 20 minutes uh, weekly, every Wednesday at 1 p.m., the dial-in number is 641-715-3580. The access code is 732-499. So she's been doing a, a series. So you're going to enjoy this. This is part one and part two. I believe that's what I am. Amen. Amen. I do want to remind you about the other broadcast that we got coming up, of course. Uh, 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 we got His Abound of Grace this this. Um, coming Tuesday at 7 p.m. Challenge to Change with Pastor Paul Morgan at 7 p.m. Declaring the Finished Work with Reverend Pat Randall is Thursday at 12 noon. Of course, I do Friday Night Joy, and I also do the Bread of Life. Both of those shows are at 7 p.m. A monthly broadcast is Lifeline with Apostle Shirley Jones. That's every first Monday of the month at 7 p.m. Moderation with Evangelist Luke Lewis McElwain. McElwain is every third Monday. Amen. Um, of the month at 7 p.m. But he's getting ready to add another show because he started another series in July. So we're excited about what God is doing with him. Bold and Beautiful is every second Saturday at 10 a.m. Amen. We thank God for Minister Jordana Cunningham uh, and, um, and, all, and the rest of the crew that does their broadcast. Mary Takeo, the body of one with Reverend Eric and Tamika Thompson every third Sunday at 7 p.m. The weekly prayer of course, is Midday Glory Prayer. So with that being already being said, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to Reverend Gwen and um, get in contact with someone. Please share this. This is a great message. Our love relationship with Christ. God bless. This summer, wherever you're heading in the great outdoors, make your first stop the Home Depot for off deep woods or active sweat-proof bug spray. Right now, get any three for just 10 bucks in your backyard or in the woods. If it's long-lasting protection you want or sweat-proof performance you need, when off goes on, bugs go away. Stock up now on off, deep woods, or active bug spray. Three for just 10 bucks. Only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing, lost by last. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was so glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord to enter into the very presence of God and to abide with him. Glory be to God. We bless the Lord on this day for his unconditional love towards us. It may be cloudy out here, but we thank God that the sun shines on the inside of our hearts. Hallelujah. We praise God for his goodness. We praise him for his act of kindness. Hallelujah. 
He is a great God, and he is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. God's love is steadfast. God's love is unchanging. God's love comforts us. Hallelujah. God's love is revealed to us through his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hallelujah. God's love is poured into us through the power of of his Holy Spirit, glory to God. God's love compels us to love one another as we love ourselves, glory to God, hallelujah. I want to welcome you to Midday Glory, glory to God. I'm Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon, and I will be your host for the next 30 minutes or less, hallelujah. We give God all the praise, and we bless his holy name, hallelujah. I want to thank Pastor Ray for standing in for me on last week. I had injured my back at the gym, glory to God, but I thank God that I am well, hallelujah. It's not 100%, but I thank God that I am able to be on this line, just continue to pray for me, glory to God. I thank God that I'm, that we know that when we press, it is a blessing, hallelujah, when we are pressing for the Lord, glory to God. Well, two weeks ago, immediately after I had finished the broadcast, I began to seek the Lord for what he would have me to speak on last week, which is now going to be this week. And I kept hearing the words love relationship. And I, if you really know me, I immediately began to associate it with a relationship with Christ. I shared what God had given me with Pastor Ray, and last week he began to speak on it as well, glory to God. We know how love in the natural may change, but a love relationship with Christ lasts forever. Hallelujah. Our relationship with God is supposed to be a deep and passionate love relationship. The scripture reads in Ephesians 5, 25 through 32, husbands love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. But no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones, glory to God. But this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, but they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church, glory to God. That's the word of God. We know how passionate a deep love relationship between a man and a woman can be. That would They would do anything for one another. They, they may even die for one another. Their love is so strong that nothing can keep them apart. That kind of a love relationship don't even begin to describe how deep and how powerful and how passionate our love relationship with Christ is supposed to be. Did we know that even before we were reconciled with with our Heavenly Father, that he loved us so much that even death didn't stand in the way of him trying to reconcile with us? We aren't loved for what we've done, my God, but we are loved for who we are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The the scripture in Deuteronomy 7, 9 says, Know therefore that the Lord thou God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Glory to God. Psalms 86, 15 says, But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, full of grace and long suffering, and plenteous in mercy and strength. Psalms 136, 26 says, O God, O give thanks unto the God of heaven. He is for his mercy endured forever. And our familiar scripture, John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So our topic for today is a love relationship with Christ. Hallelujah. The relationship that we as Christians have with Jesus can be greatly vary from person to person. Everybody has the level that they have with the Lord. Just because we have been converted, just because we have accepted Christ in our lives as our personal Savior and we've become Christian, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have a deep, intimate relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But some of us Christians, um, a, a, a living and intimate relationship with Jesus can, can just consists of our praying to him and going to church on Sunday. We allow Jesus to be a sacrifice for our sins, but the relationship with him stops there. 
And for some other Christians, Jesus is just an example to follow. And we try our best to live as he did. But since Jesus is in heaven and we are here, we don't really expect to have much of a relationship with him. And therefore, in fact, we don't. Such relationships with Jesus can at best be described as distant. The Bible, however, glory to God, speaks about an intimate and a dynamite relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is, after all, a person. He's not just a theological concept, but not someone who once lived on the earth and now is far away from us, but a person who is alive and can be very near and very dear and very close to us. He himself was tempted in all points, just as we are. But he overcame sin and he overcame death. Hebrews 4.15 says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Glory to God. Romans 6.8 says, Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Hallelujah. Because of his faithfulness. He has all the power and he has all the grace to help us to overcome sin in our lives. This also means that our relationship with him can be a full of life, glory to God, not something lifeless or stagnant because he himself is alive. Revelation 118 says, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have to make the choice. Of choosing him. God is not going to make us do anything, but we ourselves have to, got to make the choice of choosing him, glory to God. The fact is that we ourselves decide what relationship we want to have with him, glory to God. He's already done it all for us. We first choose to believe that an intimate relationship with Jesus is possible before we can enter into such a relationship. We got to know that it's possible, glory to God. But everything, spiritually speaking, it is a product of one's faith. A relationship with Jesus is not a one-sided affair, glory to God. Jesus makes this clear when he says in John 14, 23, if a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and he will come unto me and make our abode with him. Hallelujah. Just think that Jesus and the Father want to come and make their home with us. Hallelujah. Is that the relationship that we have with him? He says in John 14, 21, he that, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, it is he that loveth me. He that loveth me shall be loved by my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Have we ever thought that Jesus wants to manifest? He wants to reveal himself to us. That promise is given to those of us who love him and who keep his commandments. So it is clear that such a relationship with Jesus is to occur throughout our life as a Christian, not only in the beginning we first accept him, but throughout our entire Christian life, he is always with us. Hallelujah. We must fellowship with him on a daily basis. We must choose to fulfill these conditions, obey Jesus in our lives, in every aspect of our lives. Jesus will become a beloved friend of ours, glory to God, whom we have a fellowship on a daily basis. We will not he will not be far away from us, but rather he will be alive and speak in our hearts and in our minds through the Holy Spirit, glory to God. But did he not say that the kingdom of heaven is within you, hallelujah, glory to God? There will be no ongoing dialogue with him whom we love and follow after. He is not only our friend, glory to God, but one who understands what is like to be tempted and can therefore help us in the time of need. Hallelujah. There's nothing that he cannot do. He's our source of wisdom. He's our source of encouragement, glory to God. And therefore, he's a source of strength in the time of temptation. He's our Savior, hallelujah, not only from the penalty of sin, but also from his power in our life on a daily basis, glory to God. It's written in, in Psalms 46, 1, that God is our refuge, and he's our strength, a very present help in trouble, glory to God. This is how we experience Jesus he is able to have compassion on the weak because he has experienced human weakness himself. We read earlier Hebrews 4, 15, our compassionate high priest, he sympathized with our weakness, but he was in all points tempted as we were, as we are, but yet he was without sin. Glory be to God. Our relationship with Jesus exists in our heart. It exists in our minds. It exists in our spirit. 
when he when he is in the center of our affection, and he also sits on the throne of our hearts, glory to God, thoughts that come into our minds and begin to be brought before him, and we would have to think with the attitude of heart, dear, dear Lord Jesus, is this thought pleasing in your sight? Because we want to do everything that will please him. With such an attitude, our heart begins to understand what the mind of of Christ really is, which is the mind of the spirit, and it brings forth life and it brings forth peace in even in the midst of turmoil. We learn that some thoughts bring us life and peace, while others bring us up upsetness and unrest and, and we're empty and we're lonely, glory to God. But when we think on the goodness of Jesus, when we think on his word, glory to God, it will bring us nothing but great life and great peace and great joy. In this way we learn to discern between good and evil in the daily situations of life, between what is and what is not well-pleasing in his sight, Jesus becomes our instructor, glory to God, and he will guide us to a deeper life in the spirit realm, hallelujah. The relationship that we have with him is also in our human spirit, where, where we learn to turn to him in times of stress. We learn to turn to him in times of trouble, in times of temptation, away from our own thoughts and our own feelings, glory to God, because we can't do nothing. Then we meet the spirit of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy. And in Revelation 19 and 10, it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The prophetic spirit of Jesus speaks edification to our lives. It speaks exhortation to our lives and comfort right to our human spirit, glory to God. And we will sense that we are powerfully strengthened by the power of our Savior. Hallelujah. We draw Jesus closer to us. The Bible words that we have read and what we have heard and, and spoken so many times become so very suddenly alive in our lives, hallelujah, where we have that intimacy with God. The dry verses that we thought were dry that had little meaning before, they will become full of power to our life, the life that Jesus lives within us, glory to God, hallelujah. Jesus will change our lives. We will sense that the spirit of revelation speaks in our inner man. And we will understand the word of God and our own life very differently as a, as a total result, glory to God. We will, we will be changing the things that we used to do. We don't even want to desire to do them no more. Faith, faith will be born in our heart at a deeper level with each revelation over the word, glory to God. As our faith grows, so does the power of the spirit in our life so that we can follow in Jesus' footsteps even the more, hallelujah. Relationships with people are dynamite and that they often change with time and grow and can grow even deeper. So it is also with a relationship with our Lord and Savior, hallelujah, an increasing deep relationship. Just as God's mercy is new every morning, glory to God, our relationship with him can also be new and alive every morning, glory to God. The relationship becomes deeper as our love for him increases and as our love for our own life our own will decrease, glory to God. We have to put ourselves on the back burner and put God first, hallelujah. Jesus said in Revelation 3, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and sup with him and he with me. He says any man, glory to God, and that definitely includes every last one of us, hallelujah. Perhaps we accepted Christ in our lives years ago but have never really experienced an intimate, personal love relationship with him. Do we, do we sense him knocking at the door of our hearts today? We need to invite him into our heart, not just as a sacrifice for our sins, but as a dear and beloved friend, as Lord and master of our lives, as one whom we desire to rule and reign in our heart and live life forever, glory to God, surrendering all to him. Seeking him first from Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Blessed are we if we believe the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Open the door of our heart and invite him in as Lord and master of our lives. If we do this, if we obey his word, glory to God, in our life, we would experience what, is, what it is to have Jesus alive and dwelling in our heart. We will feel the joy and the peace, glory to God. We will experience an intimate love relationship with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. He desires that, that to be one 
with us in spirit and truth. He desires to give us of desires of our heart as we put our faith in him, as we put him first in our lives. Nothing wavering, glory to God, but believing his word, living his word, not looking at things as they are, but believing Christ Jesus, that he is our Savior. All power, hallelujah, is in his hands. We have to trust him, glory to God. We have to believe in him, glory to God, but there is no other way. Jesus is the way, glory to God. We're talking about a love relationship with our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray. Glory to God. Glory and honor, hallelujah, to the Most High God. Glory to the one who sits on the throne. Hallelujah. We give you honor, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Because you are, you deserve it, Lord God. We give you the highest praise, which is hallelujah. To God be all the glory. You are our Savior. Hallelujah. You are our healer. Hallelujah. You are our deliverer. Hallelujah. O oh Lord God, you are God who rides on the wings of the wind, Lord God. You are the God, Almighty God, who makes the clouds our chariots. Hallelujah. The God who, are, who rides in the heavens in our excellency to our aid. Hallelujah. You are the almighty God. You are omnipotent, Lord God. All power, hallelujah, is in your hands. You are omniscient, Lord God. You are the all wise and knowing God, hallelujah. You are omnipresent, hallelujah. You are present, Father God, with every last one of us at the same time, hallelujah. You see every one of our needs, hallelujah. How great is our God. We thank you, almighty God, for your sweet, intimate, Lord, vital, vital relationship, almighty God, with you. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for a personal relationship with you, hallelujah. You are our Lord. How excellent is your name, Almighty God, in all the words. Your glory, hallelujah, is above all the heavens, hallelujah. You have ordained strength, Lord God. You have ordained power, hallelujah. You, you created, oh Lord God, the moons and the stars, oh God. You created night and day, Lord God, hallelujah. You are a mighty God, hallelujah. You are the most high above all the earth, Lord God. There is no one higher than you, Almighty God. You are a faithful God. You never change. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore, Lord God. You are the great Jehovah, hallelujah. You, the king above all kings, oh, hallelujah. You are our everlasting father, glory to God. We give you alone all the glory of being our mighty savior. Glory be to your majestic name, hallelujah, forever, Lord God. Your glory is among the nations, Lord God. You are great and greatly to be praised, hallelujah. You are to be filled above all, God. You made the heavens, hallelujah. Honor and majesty are before you, Lord God. Strength and beauty are in your sanctuary. We will extol your name, O God. Hallelujah. For you are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. We bless your holy and your righteous name forever, Lord God. Father God, as long as we have breath in our bodies, O God, we will praise you. Hallelujah. We will bless your name, Lord God. Great are you, O Lord God. Hallelujah. You are greatly to be praised. Your greatness, O mighty God, is unsearchable, Lord God. Your greatness, no one can fathom. Hallelujah. We praise you, O mighty Lord. Lord God, hallelujah. We praise you, Almighty God, in the sanctuary, hallelujah. We praise you, Almighty God, in the fight of firmament, hallelujah. We praise you, O Lord God, for your mighty acts, hallelujah. We praise you, O God, hallelujah, according to your excellent greatness, hallelujah. Father, we pray, God, that you will help us to focus, O Lord God, on your greatness for us, Lord God. Father God, and, and so we will we continue, Lord God, to follow you, Lord God, that we will, Father God, desire, Lord God, to let go of the doubting, Lord God. We would desire, Almighty God, to let go of the worrying, Lord God. We would desire, oh Lord God, to stop trying to figure things out, Lord God. Help us, Almighty God, to stop being confused, Lord God, about what is going on in our lives, Lord God. Help us, oh Lord God, to know that you have already figured it out for us, Lord God. You are the all-wise, all-knowing God. You know everything about us, Lord God. Hallelujah. We must trust you with our whole heart, with our whole soul, God, with our whole minds, in the name of Jesus, God. We need to seek you first in all that we do, Lord God. We know that you are a living, personal, intimate friend, hallelujah, and are solely connected to every single one of us, Lord God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who believe, Lord God. We pray for those who God who do not believe, Lord God. We pray for those, Almighty God, that do not know you in the pardon of their sins, Lord God. We pray for those, oh God, who have accepted you in their lives, God, but do not have that personal and intimate relationship, that love relationship with you, Lord God. We pray, oh Lord God, for those who just go to church on Sundays, Lord God, but do not have any contact with you all during the week, Lord God. We must study your word on a daily basis, Lord God. We must fellowship with other believers as your word tells us on a daily basis. Lord God, we must pray, God, hallelujah, 
all day long, God. We must show you that we love you, Lord God, that we desire, oh, my God, a closeness with you, Lord God. We desire, oh, my God, an intimate, personal love relationship with you. Hallelujah, Lord God. We want a relationship with our great God. Hallelujah. A God that is merciful, a God that is compassionate and unchanging, a God who loves us unconditionally. Hallelujah. A God that can change our lives forever, hallelujah. Let us, God, that you would give us the mind of Christ, Lord God. We begin to think before we speak out of our mouths, Lord God. We would think, begin to speak before we enter place that we don't belong, hallelujah. Glory to God. We want to be peculiar people, Lord God. We want to be strange, Father God, to those, Lord God, that do not know you, Lord God. We want them to see the joy and the peace and the happiness all over us, Lord God. Lord God, we want to speak your word in our lives in the name of Jesus, God, hallelujah. Lord God, help us to see that we really need you, Lord. Lord God, we can do nothing without you, Lord God. Open, Father God, our spiritual eyes, even the more, Lord God, that we may see you, Lord God. Open up our spiritual wisdom and knowledge, Lord God, that we may obtain your word, that we can understand your word. In the name of you, there is nobody like you, Lord God. Let us see, Lord God, that we need to trust in you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We need to have faith in you throughout all circumstances, Lord God. There is nothing that's impossible for you, God. Hallelujah. Your word says, for with God, nothing would be impossible, Lord God. Hallelujah. We shout the victory because we are in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. We step aside and we let you, Almighty God, work through us, Lord God. You bring light unto darkness, Lord God. You heal the broken heart, Lord God. You restore everything that the devil has tried to, to destroy in our lives. Hallelujah. All we need to do is have faith in you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We need to just worship you, Lord God. We need to honor you, Lord God. We need to consider you in every aspect. Every of our lives, God, in all of our ways, hallelujah. We need to seek you first with our whole heart, Lord God, with our whole mind and our souls, Lord God. The word of God says, seek ye first, hallelujah, glory to God. For the battle is not ours, hallelujah, but it's yours, Lord God. We cast all of our cares over to you, Lord God, because we know, God, that you care for us. You can do anything, God, but fail, hallelujah, glory to God. Give us the patience, oh God, to wait on you, hallelujah. Thank you, oh Lord God, for you have done all that you have done for us and all that you continue to do for us, God. You are powerful, hallelujah. You are mighty, hallelujah. You are wonderful, hallelujah. We cannot stop praising your name. We cannot stop praising the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The name of Jesus is a strong tower, and the righteous one in, and we are saved, glory to God. Lord God, we are so grateful, hallelujah, that your word teaches us all that we need, hallelujah. Help us, almighty God, to re- to relinquish our rights, Lord God, and allow you, Lord God, to be deeply involved in every aspect of our lives, Lord God, every activity we are involved in, glory to God. We know, God, that when we, when we turn everything over to you, Lord God, we experience that unspeakable joy, Lord God. We will experience that peace that surpasses all understanding, glory be to God. You are our provider, hallelujah. You are our joy and you are our peace, Lord God. You are the beginning, you are the end. You know everything about us, Lord God. You know our very thoughts. You know every hair on our head. Hallelujah. You know what we are going to say out of our mouth even before we open our mouths, Lord God. Help us to speak with respect to you, Lord God. Let our thoughts and our ways be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. We cry out today for a mighty deliverance, Lord God, but we desire that intimate personal relationship, Lord God, that we, Father God, know that exists, Lord God. Hallelujah. We surrender all to you, glory to God. Hallelujah. We strike down our ways, oh Lord God, and totally desire, Almighty God, to do your will, Lord God. So, Father God, you who love us unconditionally, Lord God, such as Almighty God, if there's anything about us, oh Lord God, that is not pleasing, clean us, Lord God, purge us, Lord God, wipe us, clean us up with his up, Lord God, wash it, and we shall be clean, God, we shall be whiter than snow. Help us, Almighty God, to know your gladness, Lord God, that we will have joy and peace that comes from you, hallelujah. We desire a clean heart, we desire a clean mind, Lord God, hallelujah. We thank you right now for restoration, Lord God, for restoring the hurt, the pain, the trials, and the tribulation, oh God, that we go through every day, Lord God. But, and when you replace it, Lord God, with your unconditional love, you said weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. We know that, uh, that, uh, that we know, Almighty God, that only happiness, come, Father God, comes from you, Lord God. Only happiness comes, Father God, as we allow that deep, intimate love relationship with you. Hallelujah. We are learning to open our mouths to show forth praise. Hallelujah. Through every trial and tribulation that we go through, Lord God, we will bless your name at all times and your our praise, God. We'll continue to come out of our mouth to you, Lord God. We know that we glory in tribulation, Lord God, in our problems and in our trials. We produce the perseverance which we will endure, Lord God. Then the character and strength, Lord God, confidence, hope of salvation in you, hallelujah. Our hope will not lead to disappointment when we put 
all of our trust in you. You are the, you are our light, Lord God. You are our salvation. Hallelujah. We will wait on you, Lord God. We trust in your holy name, God. We desire the love of God to pour out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit that you have given unto us, Lord God. Oh, my God, we submit unto you on this day, Lord God. You are the everlasting Father. You are the bright and the morning star, Lord God. You are the lily of the better. You are the Lord God, our shepherd. Hallelujah. We can do anything, Lord God, through you who strengthens us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are, you are an awesome God, worthy of all the glory, worthy of all the honor, and worthy, almighty God, of all the praise. This is your servant's prayer, Lord God, that we pray on this day in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. I thank the Lord for this message of a personal love relationship with him. Glory to God. Just continue to stay tuned with us. We're going to continue on with this intimacy with Christ. We desire that, that the intimate personal relationship with him, we do experience the peace that surpasses of all understanding. It can only come from God. We speak in everybody's lives, your unmeasurable glory be to God. Stay tuned for next week, glory to God. We are trusting and believing God for a continuous word of a love relationship with him. This, share this with your coworkers, share this with your family, share this with your neighbors, all those that you come in contact with. Give them the, the call-in number every Wednesday at 1 o'clock shop. The dial-in number is 641-715-3580, and the code is 732-499. Continue to be blessed in the Lord. We thank God for this day, and we speak blessings in your life in Jesus' name. Amen and bye-bye. There are places you visit and places you behold, full of natural wonders that beckon with the promise of a feeling you haven't felt in a long time, a feeling you're in the right place, immersed in a moment you never want to end. It's here in West Virginia, from lush rolling hills to quiet streams and unexpected adventures, a place full of mystery and endless fascination, a place that's almost heaven. Find your version of heaven at wvtourism.com. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Glory to God. That is such a powerful scripture. We can read it over and over again. God loves us so much that he allowed his only son to die such an excruciating death so that we may have life, everlasting life. Our Lord and our Savior was humiliated. He was lied on. He was spit on. The thrones were pressed in his head. He was pierced in his side. He took 39 excruciating lashes on his back with the belt that had sharp objects on it. And every time they hit it, his back, it, re, it re, uh, ripped the flesh from his bones. They nailed his feet to the cross. And all of the agony that he went through, he never said a mumbling word. He, in spite of all that he went through, the Lord, our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ says, I love you because I love you. Because I love you. Hallelujah. He says that this is who I am, and, and that is what I want to do. I love, I love that I gave. I so love that I am giving. You have asked me what I am doing in your life, and I say to you that I am giving to you. I am giving you all things that pertain to life and godliness. I am giving you of heaven's bounty to meet every need of your life. Embrace. That is the most basic truth of who I am in your life. Glory be to God. Jesus says, I am the giver. I am not the taker. I am not the thief. The thief comes to steal, to steal, and to destroy. I've come to give life and give it more abundantly. I love you and choose this day to pour out to you of my love in full measure. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We give him praise. We honor his holy name. We extol the God of our salvation. We are blessed to be a blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
This is Midday Glory. God has sent forth his servant, yours truly, Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon, to remind us how blessed we are who have that love relationship with Christ. Glory be to God. On last week, we started on the series, A Love Relationship with Christ. This is part two of the series, Glory to God. Christ's desire is his desire that we desire to have a love relationship with him. All we have to do is just let him know that we desire a desire that love relationship, and he will do the rest, glory to God. But there are some prerequisites to this love relationship. We must trust him. We must obey him. We must have faith in him, and we must be a doer of his word, glory to God. We must totally depend upon him. There are, these are prerequisites that we must abide in in order to have that true relationship with our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, how to have that intimacy with God, that deep desire for God I will live and for God I will die. Nobody can distract me from the love of God. Hallelujah. Intimacy with God is for all who believe in him. We are not talking about church goers just coming to church on a Sunday, but we are talking about those who have spend the time with God and begin to know him personally and intimately, have that deep desire to truly know our Lord. God has extended the invitation to us to enjoy an intimate relationship with him, and this puts our faith to test more than anything else. In James chapter 1, it says, in verse 9 and verse 2, it says, My brethren, count it all joy, falling to die with temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work is patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And then Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So what is faith? It is a confident assurance that something that we want is going to happen, glory to God. It is a certainty that, we, that what we hope for is waiting for us, even though we cannot see it up ahead. Let me pause for a second, and let's look at that word wait and waiting. It does not mean just because we want something that's going to be an instant fix just because we have that relationship with God. The Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing. It also tells us that our time is not the Lord's time, neither are our ways his ways. And then in Deuteronomy 28, just bear with me, I want to read all 14 verses about the blessings for obedience. Remember, that was one of our prerequisites of obedience. It said, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thou God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of the body, and fruit of the ground, and the fruit of the cattle, the increase of their kind, and the flock of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket, and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command thee blessings upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou sittest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land that the Lord thou God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself. And he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and thou shalt be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy ground, in the land the Lord sway unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto, unto the land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand nor to the left, 
or go after any gods, that's a god with a, a lowercase g, to serve them. That means idol gods. We must do the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the heart of intimacy is what we call the experience of really knowing and being known by another person. We frequently use spatical language when, when describing this experience. An intimate friend is someone that we feel very close to, and they know our deep, dark secrets, and they're at this level with us. That if something happens that damages that intimacy with that friend, we feel distant from that individual. Or a person who doesn't know us intimately knows us at a superficial level. But of course, intimacy is not spatical, but is relational. We all know that it's what it's like when we're sitting beside a person that we don't know. We feel very distant from them, but yet someone that we feel extremely close to, they can be miles and miles away from us, but we feel very close to them. So the question is, what makes us feel intimate with another person? There are so many different ingredients to intimacy, but one of the main ingredients is common to all is that we must trust. Amen? That is the key word in an intimate relationship. We cannot be intimate a person unless we trust that person. That person trust is the heart of intimacy. The more we trust someone, the closer we let them get to us. Amen? The degree to which trust is com compromised in a relationship is the degree to which intimacy evaporates. That's very deep. Let's take a look at the heart of intimacy with God. This is as true in our relationship with God as it is in our relationship with other human beings. Our experience of God's nearness or his distance is not a description of his actual proximity to us, but of our ex experience of intimacy with him. Scripture shows us that God is intimate with those who trust him. The more we trust God, the more intimately we come to know him. A felt distance from God is often due to a disruption in our trust, such as a sin that we've committed or some disappointment. Then we, when we willingly sin, we feel distant from God because we are ashamed. But guess what? He never stops loving us, the glory to God. The reality is vitally important to understand. We have to be obedient to God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. We just read Deuteronomy 28 about the blessings of obedience. We must be active in not just the knowledge of his word, but we must know his word. We must be doing his word. As Christians, we want to experience the intimacy with God. Psalm 73, 28 says, but it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord that I may declare all your works, glory to God. And then we have to heed James' exhortation and realize his promises. In James 4, 8, it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. The Amplified says, come close to God and God will come close to us, glory to God. But we can seek that nearness in ways that don't produce that closeness to God. You see, an intimacy with God is more than knowledge of the word of God. Our common mistake that we make is thinking that that nearness or closeness to God can be achieved through, through knowledge or accumulation. We think because uh, we're students in seminary school and we are on the, on, on making straight A's and all that kind of stuff, that it draws the intimacy of God because we know the word of God. But we, we, don't, we can gain the knowledge of God, but we don't, we don't gain the anointing of God. We don't, uh, 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 we don't gain that, that, that closeness or that nearness to God unless we are intimate with him. We, and it's intimate in doers of his word. Now, of course, the intimacy to know God, we must, we must know crucial things about him. Jesus said in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Lord also pointed out that many of us worship what we, what we do not know. In John 4, 22, it says, ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, but salvation is of the Jews. But never, never in the history of the Christian church has so much theological knowledge been available to so many people as it is today. Amen. The American church enjoys perhaps the greatest amount of this abundance. There's so many Bible translations now. There's so many different books that's producing pertaining to God's word. There are insightful articles. There are recorded uh, sermons. You can go on Facebook and hear sermons. You can uh, you see interviews. You can see movies. You can see documentations. You can see music, and there's so much more. And the Bible is even on our phones. It's even on our tablets. You don't even have to carry a book anymore. Just carry our, our technology. And much is, and then all of this stuff is very good. It is a right for us to be very thankful. But it, but America is not abounded in the Enoch area 
or finding them frequently, we finding them frequently disappearing. Saints who walk with God in a profoundly intimate way. In Genesis 5:24, it says Enoch walked with God, and he was not, but God took him. He was not found among men because God took Enoch away to be home with him. And in Hebrews 11:5 says, by faith Enoch was translated because he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. But for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen. So why? Because knowledge is not synonymous with trust. That's why Jesus said to the religious leaders of his day that some who possess an encyclopedia knowledge of Scripture, John 5, 39, 40, says, Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they that they which testify of me. Biblical knowledge is far better than gold when it fuels our trust in the Lord because it fuels our intimacy with God. In Psalms 19, 10, it says, More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Glory to God. But when biblical knowledge replaces our trust in God, it only fuels our pride. And 1 Corinthians 8, when it says, Now as, t- as touching things offered to idols, we know that we have knowledge Knowledge puffed up, but charity edified. Glory to God. Don't be fooled by someone quoting scriptures. Don't be fooled by someone preaching and, and, and having all of this knowledge. They must be a doer of the word of God, not just a knowledge of the word of God. In James 1, verses 22 to 25, it says, Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. But if any be not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. Glory to God. This man shall be blessed in his deeds. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God. We call you Abba Father, Lord God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning, O oh God, and you are the end. Hallelujah. You are the Christ. You are the Son Almighty God of the living God. Hallelujah. You are our creator. You are our counselor. Glory to God. You guide us daily to make wise with spiritual decisions, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are our comforter, Lord God. When we are in sorrow, Lord God, when we are in pain, when we are in distress, Lord God, when we feel that we are so stressed out, Lord God, when we don't know what to do, Lord God, we praise you, Almighty God, that, Father God, we know that we can draw near to you, Lord God. We know, God, that you are right there by our side. You will never leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. You are El Ro, Lord God. You are the God, hallelujah, that sees us. You are El Shaddai, Lord God. You are our eternal, Lord God, hallelujah. You are, you are our heavenly Father, Lord God, and you are the Father of the fathers, Lord God, how great you are, Lord God, and we thank you for your faith, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are with us day in and day out, God. You are holy, hallelujah. Yet, you, Father God, you made a way for us, oh God, to approach you, God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We praise you, Almighty God, for you are our help, Lord God. We thank you, Almighty God, for your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Your Holy Spirit convict us, Lord God. Your Holy Spirit correct us, Lord God. Your Holy Spirit protect us, Father God, in our lives, Lord God. You are invisible, Lord God, but we see you, Father God, with our eyes of faith. Hallelujah, Lord God. You are Jehovah God. You are Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. You are the one that has provided and will and continue to provide our every need, Lord God. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the one that is all manner of diseases, Father God. Over 2,000 years ago on the cross, Lord God, you, Father God, healed every known and unknown disease to us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus God. You are Jehovah Roha, Lord God. You are the Lord God, our shepherd, our faithful shepherd. Hallelujah. You are not just King God, but you are King of kings, and you are Lord of lords, and yes, you are Jesus, the name that's above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah. We praise you, Almighty God, with our whole heart, Lord God. You are a mighty God. You are the Messiah. You are the soon coming King, hallelujah. You are omniscient, Lord God. You know everything, God. You are everywhere at the same time, Lord God, hallelujah. We thank you for your peace, Lord God. We thank you, Almighty God, for your protection, Lord God. You are the most high God, hallelujah. And we, Father God, Father God, know that you are our redeemer, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you sacrificed your life for us, Lord God. You died, Lord God, to set us free, Lord God. And then you rose, Almighty God, on 
the third day with all power in your hand, Lord God. And Father God, you gave us victory over death. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No longer, oh God, are we enslaved in sin, Lord God. You are our salvation, Lord God. Hallelujah. You have given us hope within, Lord God. We praise you, Almighty God, because you are trustworthy, oh God, and you are true. Hallelujah. You are our teacher, Lord God. And Lord Father God, your understanding and wisdom is beyond our finite mind, Lord God. But we thank you, Lord God, that as we ask God, as we seek God, Father God, you give us our heart's desire, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for spiritual wisdom, spiritual understanding, spiritual knowledge in the name of Jesus God. You are the way, Lord God. You are the truth, and you are the life, Lord God. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord God, and we delight in you, Almighty God. We know, God, that you know every hair that is on our head, Lord God, and you know every thought that's in our mind, Lord God. You are preparing a place for us, Lord God, that one day we can live with you forever, Lord God. Maybe then, Lord God, we can be at peace. Maybe then, Lord God, we can praise you, Lord God, like we know that you deserve, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father God, we can't get do all the praise here on this earth. God, so many obstacles, Lord God, but when we come to heaven, Lord God, we can praise you like never before, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We just want to thank you, Lord God, because we so desire to have that intimacy with you, Lord God, but we know, Lord God, that we must put all of our trust in you, Lord God. We know, Almighty God, that we must be obedient, Lord God. We know that we must have faith in you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. And we know, Almighty God, that we must know your word, but we must also be doers of your word, Lord God. All, Father God, all praise, Almighty God, go to you, O Lord God. How excellent, Almighty God, is your name in all the earth. Hallelujah. At the name of Jesus, God, there's power in the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you that you are strong and mighty, Lord God. Lord God, we feel hope, but we feel hopeless, Lord God. When circumstances are going on in our life, Lord God, we know, God, that we can reach out to you, God, and you will give us that inner peace. You will give us that inner joy, Lord God. Nobody can do it the way you do it, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, when we feel that we're going through a mighty battle, when we feel, oh, Lord God, that our backs are against the wall, we feel like, Father God, the endless storms are raging, Lord God. Hallelujah. We feel like, Father God, we want to take wings and just fly out of all of the mess that we're in, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you do give us that peace, Lord God. You give us it deep down in this, our sanctified heart, Lord God, and we thank you, Lord God. We thank you because we know you intimately, Lord God. We know, God, that we can reach out, God, and we can grab that peace, Father God, that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah, Lord God. We put all of our trust in you, Lord God. We will not lean until our own understanding, but in all of our ways, Almighty oh, God, we will acknowledge you, oh, Lord God. We know, God, that, that the trust is a big part of experiencing that peace and that intimate relationship with you, Lord God. We declare our trust in you on this day, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for making a way for us, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for always being our shepherd, always loving us unconditionally, Lord God. We thank you and we give you all the praise and all the glory. And it's in Christ Jesus' name that we pray and we say amen. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. Continue listening to us I'm on the series of love relationship with Christ. It is so, so awesome. Be blessed and we will hear you next week. God bless you richly. Bye bye. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Reverend Gwen. Amen for that awesome, awesome word. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. You've been listening to When Christmas Speak Talk Radio. This is Bring Friday Night Joy. We're, uh, the message today is from Reverend Gwen Dixon. A love relation with Christ. This is part one and part two. Amen. If you'd like to get in contact with us, you can do so by going to When Christmas Speak at gmail.com. I'd also like you to check out our website, amen, at whenchristianspeak.com. Amen. And um, check out a little bit more about us. Amen. So we pray that you have a blessed rest of the afternoon. Please continue to listen to the rest of the um, announcements that we got coming up. Amen. But a love relationship with Christ. A love relationship. Oh, man, that is just awesome. A love relationship. What kind of relationship do you have with Christ? You know, what kind of relationship do you have with Christ? Amen. So, y'all, continue to be blessed. Know that I love you, and we are praying for you. God bless you. You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Join us for our weekly broadcast, His Abounding Grace, with Minister Vanessa Williams. That's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. 
on Wednesday afternoons at 1 p.m., join Rev. Gwendolyn Dixon for the Midday Glory Prayer Line. The dial-in number is 641-715-3580. The access code is 732-499. And Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you. That's with Pastor Paul Morgan of Chosen Generation Ministries in Richmond, Virginia. On Thursdays, live at 12 noon, join Rev. Pat Randall for Declaring the Finished Work for an hour of worship, exhortation, and prayer. Rev. Ray and Friends are here on Friday nights at 7 p.m. with the joy of the Lord on Friday Night Joy. Sundays at 7 p.m., join Rev. Ray for Bread of Life for a Word in Season. And don't forget our monthly broadcast. First Mondays of every month at 7 p.m., be blessed with the teaching ministry of Apostle Shirley Jones on Lifeline. On third Mondays at 7 p.m., join Evangelist Louis McElwain for Adoration, a broadcast of worship and ministries on the mission field. Second Saturdays of the month, join Rev. Curtis, Rev. Novena, and Minister Jordana for Bold and Beautiful, a youth and young adult broadcast setting the world on fire with the love of Jesus. All broadcast times are Eastern Standard Time. Hey family, I want to introduce our newest broadcast that joined us in 2018, The Marriage Take Over the Body of One, hosted by Reverend Eric and Reverend Tamika Thompson. They will be addressing a wide range of topics that will serve to encourage you and to strengthen your marriage. So remember that every third Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, The Marriage Take Over over the body of one. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, we are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry, so all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com, and click on our donation page. Oh, give 